What's up? What's up? Pete Kalfas window cleaning blueprint. And in this video, this is really good. We're actually in a house right now cleaning windows and I have to show you something that's really going to clarify some stuff for you when you're cleaning these types of windows. Okay. So you see this right here. This is i uh, I'm pretty sure it's an Anderson window. It's a vinyl sliding window and it's a bedroom window. Up, down, up, down. Some of these are the hardest ones to clean. Okay, so I wanna show you how to clean this. You see these tabs, these pressure tabs for the springs? The indented part of the spring is the inside. The flat flush part is the outside. And if there's ever a lip on the screen, which there is here, that's the bottom. How these coming out, come in and out a lot of Houses, you can actually clean the windows, the whole window inside and out and everything and clean all the tracks and screens from the inside of the house. So if this was like this, the screen was in, we're actually already cleaning this window. You want to raise the screen up, push really hard. Now these screens are a mother to get out. They're very hard to get in and out and you got to use pressure. You got to use some manpower or woman power. You know what I mean behind it, but you got to get it out. It's called... It's aggressive but gentle at the same time. And wiggling too, you wiggle the screen out, and get it out, rotate it, and bring it in the house. Or you could do what I do, is I carry an extra scrubber with me, and I thoroughly clean the screen with a towel. I'll just show you. I have a series of towels. A soak and wet towel, rotate, clean, get in there with your thumbs, all the grooves, rotate it. I go two rotations, make sure my thumbs get in all the indentions. And you could take a scrubber, a dry scrubber, and then clean it from every different angle on the outside to make sure that screen is good. If you don't want to bring the screens all the way out of the house, right? So I bring the screen back inside. If it's a one story, I can, sometimes I'll just drop them outside if they're really, really bad and I can't clean them or the wind's blowing in, drop it outside. But then when you open the window, you can clean, when you clean tracks, that includes all this crud and crap. There is so much crud and crap. Look at all that. I mean, we already clean it mostly. There's different levels of cleanliness. You gotta really clarify this with your with your customer and then find a, a middle ground and make sure you're you know getting paid and charging for this. If you're cleaning out and spraying, here's my spray bottle. Spraying down the, the cracks, your series of towels. Here, take this back. Eh. I wasn't super prepared for this video, but that's fine. And you're getting all inside of everything, 360, everything. See how this window lowers now? All up in here, everything. Every little detail corner, the locking mechanisms, right? But the next thing is, check this out. So these type of windows, always check for tabs on the sides and the backs. Oh. See it now, it won't come down because it's all the way at the bottom of the track. Raise it up a little, move the blind stuff out of the way. You can hold it with your chest, or you can hold it and make sure it doesn't break. If it's a really heavy window, you can actually snap these gears out of place and now you're sitting there trying to fix it. But I take my scrubber, scrub the window every different way, you know, clean it. Sometimes if you don't want it to drip. Oops. If I had a smaller squeegee, I'd be using it. We do actually. Let's see. Clean that window. Now, how do you get to that one? All right, so I got the outside of this one. Now I'm gonna raise it all the way up. See how it's dripping because of gravity? You might have to sit there a couple times and go really slowly because it'll get up inside of the, uh, the crap of the window. Now, you can take your scrubber and reach and clean the outside and then dry that and you get the whole window from the inside of the house and then when you're done put the screen back close it lock it put the blinds back down a lot of houses that there's a lot of blinds i just leave them all up and we bounce they can put them back depends on the customer close them leave them half pitch and then look at the window oh i missed something i always go back and keep going back and getting that little thing until you get that sense of sensory acuity like there's a little bit of crap up there that that'll just creep down on the window and then it's literally that see i keep going like that it's 
the microscopic stuff. But white vinyl windows are always the hardest to get the cleanest because they got stains. There's so many crevices and cracks that you can't clean. So I assume you're charging like $12 per window to do what we call the works package, which is inside, outside, track sills and screens. $12 per window. It takes about um, 12 minutes per window on a really bad one. We could bang these out. I've timed them before. I think it was eight minutes per window to do this if I'm just doing a very, very thorough job. And, you know, I've actually got it down to four minutes per window. If I'm all by myself jamming some audiobooks, then I just get a system down. And then, there you go. So I hope you, I hope that kind of clarifies that for you. And then also with pricing one more time, look, uh, a window like this on the outside would be, you know, $3 per window, three, six bucks for these two windows outside. Inside and outside, you're looking at about seven to $8 just to do the glass, the screen, the screen like this size is about two bucks to clean. So what are you looking at? I would charge them eight bucks inside and out plus screen cleaning. $12 if we're cleaning the tracks. I might even bump it up to 14 bucks because I don't like doing it. Or if you go in the house and you see it's really bad, but like, hey, this is not common. It's that dirty. Be respectful, you know, but it's going to be, you know, 15 or $20 per window. I've heard isn't uncommon clean windows like it depends on how long it takes you we've been in houses that have taken 10 and a half hours to clean the windows in one house okay so i hope you got something out of that video to recap make sure check this on every window be very careful check for any pre-existing damage in any house you go into and if anything pops up on your plate stop and let the customer know and just be very uh proactive with that all right cool